this book is about my research and I'm a passionate scientist. And during the past 20 years, I always was very interested in what positive thinking about the future actually does. You know, many of us think that once we think positive, we will actually go and fulfill our wishes and achieve success. And we find in our research that positive thinking about the future actually cannot only not help, but actually hurt when it comes to fulfilling our wishes. Well, you know, we were kind of surprised ourselves when we started that research. And then we did some studies. For example, the more positively women who enrolled in a weight reduction program fantasized about losing a lot of weight, the less weight they lost after three months and after one year and after two years. Or the more positively university graduates fantasized about an easy transition into work life. The fewer dollars they earned two years later, the fewer job offers they had gotten, but also the fewer applications they had sent out. So it seems though these positive fantasies and daydreams are really pleasant at the moment, on the long run, they actually are an impediment to achieving success. And we designed a strategy, WHOOP strategy. Now, WHOOP has been tested extensively in the lab and also in the field. And it has these four steps. You first start with the W. So the W is you name a wish, a wish that is actually very dear to you. And then you go to the first O. The first O is you think, now what would be the best outcome if I fulfill that wish? It might be an emotion, it might be a positive consequence, but it's one thing, one best outcome. And then you keep that in front of your mind and then you let your mind go and you imagine the best outcome to happen. And that's actually this positive thinking we had been talking before about. So you are allowed to really let your mind go and you can close your eyes and actually think and imagine that best outcome occurring. And then once you really experience the emotion of the best outcome occurring, you switch gears and then you ask yourself, what is it in me that holds me back from fulfilling my wish and experiencing that outcome? What is it actually that holds me back, that stops me? Is it an anxiety? Is it a bad habit? And you can dig deeper if you want. Then you imagine that obstacle occurring. So the feeling of anxiety or the feeling of resentment. And once you're really into that obstacle, then you go on and make an if obstacle, then I will behavior to overcome obstacle plan. So you think about what could I do to overcome that obstacle. And then you tell yourself, if, and you imagine the obstacle occurring, then I will. And then you imagine the effective behavior to overcome that obstacle. And that's the P of the book. 